All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. If I was going to fundamentally change America, one of the first things or one of the things I would definitely have to do is mess with the automobiles, right? Because America loves the automobile. It is bred into us the ability that we can get in our vehicles and drive from Boston, Massachusetts, all the way to California with a few tanks full of gas, cross that whole great big country. Well, that's a problem, okay? Your mobility is a problem guaranteed under the constitution of the united states of america but soon to be disrupted so here we go we're going to get right into it i ran across survival lily she's a friend of our channel here we've known her for quite a while and she was talking about a message or a comment that she got from one of her subscribers okay now i'm going to read you this comment well parts of it i'm not going to read the whole comment to you but i want you to let this sink in okay because this is where they're going with this stuff, okay? Also, if you're in America right now, I want you to think about, they just passed the law, before I get into this, they just passed the law that all cars have to have kill switches on them by like 2025 or something like that. My date might be wrong, but my information is correct, okay? Kill switches, mandatory, all vehicles, even Republicans voted for it. And I stress that because, you know, you would almost think that the, left would vote for some control mechanisms like that <laughs> under the guides of safety <laughs> but a republican i don't really see it happening so we got turncoats in our congress and so i was thinking man why do they want to have kill switches on every vehicle and i know they're going digital with all the vehicles so it's like why why would they do that and then you know how things are, they just fall into place. Here's a story from Survival Lily from a subscriber that works in the IT business. Ready? I work in the IT department of a very large renowned insurance company. Oh, this is going to get good, y'all. Don't go anywhere. Headquartered in Germany. Unfortunately, what I tell my circle of friends and relatives about my projects, they dismiss it as conspiracy theory. Okay, because remember, the CIA came up with conspiracy theory, so it would make people that are trying to warn you and tell you about the incoming problems that they would look silly and ridiculous, and you would just slough them off. And here we are. <laughs> but here we go. Many people don't see or understand what will happen to us with the great digitalization revolution, especially the possible dangers and misuse. Here's a small excerpt of a pilot project we are working on. Okay, this guy's in Germany, already working on the project. I told you guys, behind the scenes, they are working like dogs to implement this as fast as they can because we're waking up faster than they can implement it. Here we go. Topic. Digitalized car. Pilot project's already underway. They've been telling you guys for a couple years now they want these autonomous cars to be driving you around. Okay, here we go. In the next 10 years, you will no longer be possible to insure old cars, gas cars, okay? You will be forced to buy a digital car, otherwise you won't get insurance. And then you notice too, like this is the long game, they pass these laws in every state where you have to have insurance to drive. So there's gonna be a rubber hits the road moment, either we stop the nonsense, or a bunch of people are gonna be driving gas cars Black market style. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> illegal, slim shady. These cars are online 24 seven in real time in touch with the insurance traffic authorities, remote maintenance, surveillance authorities, etc. That's no joke. Depending on your driving style, time, speed, and driver, your insurance premium will be automatically adjusted. He's already working on this program, y'all. And I had already heard some rumblings, too, that they are not going to insure gas vehicles coming up and a lot of other things. So now they're going to move to the insurance side and start causing pain there, okay? Hope you guys are paying attention. If you, do, if you drive too fast, too risky, you not only pay the fine to the magistrate, but your insurance premiums automatically increase. So if they catch you speeding, they don't even have to have a police, man. They just monitor your car and deduct it right out of your digital bank account. We're already in discussions with several mar large major automotive brands to bring a Europe-wide standardized technical one-size-fits-all solution onto the market. Many people don't know that fully integrated breathalyzers 
will be mandatory in coming vehicle generations. Did you hear that? They are all out for all bio. They're going to claim that the breathalyzer is so you won't drive drunk. Okay? That's why they hyped you up on MAD all these years. But really what they're going to be doing is getting your bio data. Saliva. Breath. Spit. All digitalized. Do you guys please understand where these crazy people are going with this stuff? Please understand. So it goes on to talk about transparent customer IDs, digital IDs to access your personal data. It's all going to be ran in the cars, in the background, and they can detect who's in the vehicle with you. Let's say they don't like you. Let's say they can control your car. And let's say they cause an accident and kill you. I mean, I'm just saying, let's just say, could they do that? If they control the car that much already, could they literally cause an accident and cash you out? A powerful RFID chip will be built into these digital ID cards. This enables a close coupling of 10 meters, but monitoring and localization with an accuracy of approximately 1,000 meters. This is of practical interest to the insurance company because in the event of damage, we can more easily locate the people in acts of damage, crimes, and those involved. And they got you used to that with the keys, right? So everything is a test. You guys got the keys and the cars, the latest inventions. And as you walk up to your car, the door is unlocked, the seats adjust to your settings. Those are all the tests. Congress passing that, it makes more sense for the global coup. Because that view, I are not paying attention, y'all. The whole globe or the whole flat earth or the whole half a spear with the firmament is all breakneck speed moving towards the same stuff. Controlling your vehicles, controlling your movement, vaccine passports, okay? Digital IDs, digital wallets, all these are control mechanisms. And if we don't get out in front of it now, we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be around our neck. Okay, so I just thought that was super interesting. It all makes sense now. So the people, if you guys, we're really serious. The people that voted for that, kill switches in our cars in America, those are the exact Republicans you definitely need to run right out. Okay, they need to be ran right out of office. Every single one of them that voted for it, right out. Okay, because they're helping use our money and our energy and our time and our everything to put a noose around our neck, y'all, in a manner of speaking. Okay, to cripple us and to limit our freedoms, our mobility, our ability to communicate with each other. If you missed my video yesterday, I'll leave a link in the first comment under this video. Please watch that video. They are right now, they have a law in New York, they can come right now and pick you up out of your house. Claim that you're sick with something, even botulism which you get from like eating bad food. <laughs> it's not even contagious. They can scoop you up from your house and take you to a quarantine camp is what they're calling them. Internment camps is actually what they are. And that's already on the books in New York and they're trying to fight it again. So please go watch that video. Please share all of these videos with your friends because you know why? Before we get out of here, I'll tell you why. Is because we're the only ones they're going to be able to get the information out. Mainstream media is not going to tell you this stuff. Your friends are not going to know about this stuff unless you let them know. Unless you share these videos and videos like them on the things that are going on behind the scenes and what's going on, no one is really going to know because the mainstream media is complicit. They're complicit, y'all. They are, they are totally helping the narrative, moving the narrative forward, okay? <laughs> Trust me. All right? Leave a comment down below if you heard about this. Kill switches on the cars in America coming up soon to a dealership near you. And then you know what they'll do too is they'll, they'll make some kind of a thing where you can't have these older cars. Like remember the cash for clunkers, how they got all those old cars off the road in preparation for such a time as this. They're long game players, y'all. So leave a comment down below if you knew about the cars with the kill switches. If you knew already that they're working on all this infrastructure to with the insurance companies. Leave a comment down below, okay? And we'll see you guys on the next video. I've got videos coming every day this week.
for the rest of the week and all next week. And if you guys ordered a book from the Missouri Tea Company, Stacy's new Remedy book is in. My Homestead booklet is not in, so you'll probably get your package without it. And then when they get in later on, I'll send them out to you guys as well. Okay? If you guys want to check out anything cool that we do, go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com. And there's all kinds of cool stuff there, some blogs, some information, stories about us, and everything else. Okay? See you on the next video. Hit that thumbs up, will you?